our inventors, our entrepreneurs. Uh, it's a great, great way for us to be able to connect with you. And we've got a, a, a great American products for you today as well. Hey, listen, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, America's next great entrepreneurs. In fact, <clears throat> we're showing you right now how they go through this rigorous application products, uh, products pitches, intense on-air training for these entrepreneurs, all to achieve their American dream right here at HSN, where they share their products with the world and with us. And of course, it wouldn't be possible without the likes of somebody like my good friend Bob Sercosta, who is here right good now. Morning. Hi, my friend. How are you? It's guys? good to see you. Great to see you. you Great to be with everybody. Now, listen, we've yes. got a really exciting uh, product coming out of the gate. And this whole hour is kind of like about painting your home and getting exactly. your home ready. And our first item is absolutely cool. Our, our professional artist, Don, who right. we're going to get to right. meet in just right. a sec, exactly. he actually uh, came up with a better way to not only hold on to our paint cans, but exactly. open and close them. Will you explain what this is well, all about? First of all, I mean, the quickest and the easiest way to make your home look new and better and everything right. is to paint it, right? But there are lots of problems when it comes to painting. Problems like this, dripping, messy paint cans, right? We are solving that problem. Don Kabaski is with us right now. Don, come on in here. He has created, say hi to Guy. Hey, buddy. Don. How Guy, are you, Val? <laughs> it's good to see and you. He has created a product called the Drip Crown, okay? The drip crown. That's right. And what this is going to do is prevent any messy paint cans. Uh, you know, how many times have you gone to open an old paint can and the paint is spoiled? Yeah. It's that wasting. That's wasting money. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Don, I'm gonna. We're gonna turn it over to you. Yep. Tell us about the drip crown. Well, everybody hates the mess associated with working from a right. one-gallon paint can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. The drippy sides, the contaminated that, paint groove. That looks like all the paint cans in my, in my shed. Me too. Pretty much. Me too. Yes. All right, and so that's the problem. How are we going to solve it? Well, the inability to properly reseal often causes the paint to harden. This is an actual can from my shed. Yeah. So as a professional artist, I'm in and out of paint Tough to get that on a roller, Bob. You it's, know almost, I mean? it's almost impossible. <laughs> Pretty tough to get that back on a roller. <laughs> so, all right, so what's the answer to this whole thing? The answer is... Yes. The patented drip crown. Okay. And it's very, very easy to use. It's the only product on the market that completely encompasses a Look paint can groove. And all you do is put it on, lock the wire into position. It doesn't come loose. Oh, look at that. And you're ready to Neat. paint. Look at Neat. that. So it completely seals off that little channel that goes around. And that's the little ring where, you know, you, a lot of us use it to scrape the paint off, sure. which is kind of ridiculous because all sure. we're doing is loading that channel up with paint, which thusly becomes the glue when you put the lid back on and then you can never get that off. You know, there's a reason when you buy paint that the guy puts the lid on and hands, really hammers it down that's because right. you want a tight seal. Correct. You can't get that if you got that mess on the ring. Exactly. Right. This is going to solve all that problems. What is this groove for right yeah. here, Don? Well, this arched bridge is called the paintbrush wiper. So let me show you how that works. It's okay. actually my favorite part of my product. You simply take your paintbrush, right. okay. dip it in. Right. Normally, as you would roll it across the lip of a paint can, right. it's going to instantly contaminate the paint can groove. Yeah. In this case, you wipe it, all loose or drippy paint gets fed directly ah. back into the can. It perfectly loads a paintbrush uh -huh. right. in a superior fashion versus, to using... Versus this, where you try to do that, and right. that's exactly what happens. And that's <laughs> going to cause the problem. Right. Instant, there it is. Instant contamination right, right. there. Yeah, Let's right. do that again and show you. Okay. That's brilliant. Wipe it. That. that is. And it leaves the exact amount of paint that you want it, on it there. It loads it so yep, perfectly, perfectly that the paint actually doesn't even shake so off. So there's no Look waste this. of paint. None. Let me let me tell everybody out there right now, this is only $16.95. This is going to last you probably pretty much forever. Once you get this thing, I mean, it's going to last. You can wash it, reuse it over and over. I've got 800 to go around. That's all we have. In fact, we have 700 left with the wow. people already online ordering this. Nice thing about our shows today, too. Everything is free shipping and handling. So you Which get this great. home for, for yep. no extra cost. Uh, but get it home. I know you want to do some paint jobs. And boy, if, ladies, if you're watching right now, your husband, trust me, if he does, if he's the painter, he will appreciate this because as guys, we have a tendency to take shortcuts. You know what I mean, Bob? We right. don't always do things the right oh, way. Oh, no, we want it done We fast. want to get done quick, right, so we just right. open the can of paint. Sure. You put this on top of a can of paint, and now not only are you going to save uh, more paint because you're not going right. to use as much right. on the brush, but then look at the mess can all be rinsed. But you know, when I'm, when I'm using the brush and the paint, and then I never think about, well, what's going to happen the next time I open that right. can of paint? Right. I don't give any thought to that whatsoever, but with the drip crown, it's going to eliminate all those problems. You don't have to worry about the messy paint. You don't have to worry about wasting paint. 
machine. So you're saving money with this. And Don created the drip crown. And look once at, again, you know, watch. Go ahead. Yeah. Look at the difference. Yeah. If you guys can get a two oh, shot there, that night and day. Look at the difference between uh, between these two can uh, paint cans. I notice none of the paint has a chance to go down the side. It's impossible. It's all directed back into the actual paint can. So you're saving that, and you don't have this nasty mess. And and you know when you look at this, and I, I'm telling you, you think I'm fooling around. I wish I took a picture of my shed. I probably got seven or eight cans that are all in that condition. It's Most like they of automatically us do. do. This is the yeah. actual can that inspired me to invent my drip crown. Now watch. We're going to take the drip crown off. Okay. So Pull it's it easy to take off. Oh, well, look, look, look. The rim is going to be 100% clean every there single time. There you go. Look which, at that which before and after. Which would you rather have? Huh? And I guarantee, and I will absolutely say this, that 95% of you at home probably have a can of paint that looks like this. Either it's a large one or a small one, whatever. Yes, sure. But but these big cans of paint, and, and by the way, when they're improperly sealed, you're throwing away about $10 or $15 worth of paint every time. This is about half, well, who knows? This could have been three quarters full, but it dries out. Why does it dry out? Because you can't get a proper seal Correct. back on the can. When you go to readdress a painting project and you'll find, um, and you try to peel the uh, lid off, yeah. you're often going to find spoiled paint. With premium paint running north of 30, 40, sometimes $50 a gallon, that becomes expensive. Sure. I got tired of opening up the lids and finding spoiled paint. Um, so I decided to take action. Yeah. You know so here we, we are. You know here's we do the piece too, right here. Which is so funny is that we try so in the beginning when we open the can, we try to be so <laughs> delicate about getting it all in. We're like, I'm not going to get it in that little channel this time. How about I'm this? I'm not going to do it. Let's right? say the phone rings and uh, someone's calling you. You got to take your polluted paint uh, paintbrush. Right. right. Lay it right, lay it right there. It's going to be instantly <laughs> contaminated. So you have a problem right there. Um, Once again, from the beginning, let's, yes. let's show this. If you just happen to tune in, it's the Drip Crown. Don Kabaski, part of our American dreams. He invented this. How long did it take you to invent this? I invented it probably 20 years ago, but wow. I finally took action after this can and yeah. others like it. And I okay. said, I can't take this anymore. There has to be a solution. There's nothing on the market and like it. And here it is. Let's put it on again Watch for those easy. just joining us. You line these holes up with the paint can groove. It fits okay. on any one can of paint. Lock the bail wire into position. And that's not coming off. Oh, and it's not coming loose. Look at yeah. now, I spent a lot of time designing yeah. it, and uh, right. it's it's made in the USA, super high quality. Now these uh, pieces right here allow you to do one of two things: as you're traversing a ladder, going up and down, you can mm -hmm. carry your paint can like this, or carry it like this. So no matter where you're positioned ah. on the ladder, you yeah, can then maneuver right. it, and there's no chance of it coming off. And again, every single time you paint. When right. you take the drip crown off, mm -hmm. you're going to have a clear, clean groove. So when you take your paint can lid right. and reapply it with a hammer, in the old days, as you would hammer it, paint would go all over Everywhere. your over <laughs> your cat, your dog, your children, exactly. the oatmeal, right. everything. It's a complete mess. Well, now you uh, yeah, tap it shut. Go. You're good to go. Now another way a paint can groove gets immediately contaminated is by pouring it into a tray. Let's say you want to do some rolling. Right. Right. Well, automatically it's in there. And we've all tried this trick over the years. You take a sharp object like a nail or a, ha or a screwdriver and you pop holes in the rim hoping that the paint falls back into the groove. Well, we've all tried that trick and we all know it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's too thick. Yeah. yeah. So with the drip crown, simply put the drip crown on. Lock your bail wire into position. Let's move this over so for a second. So simple. So easy. Completely simple. All right, we're going to put three yeah. minutes on the clock. I've got 600 of these remaining. Wow. So if you want it, you need to be ordering right now. Okay, go ahead, bud. Now watch. Slow and steady wins the race. Wow. There you go. A little bit of a pour. Just wipe off the excess that comes off to the side. Okay. Now watch this. Under normal painting conditions, this groove that's sloped, all paint will be fed directly back into the can. Mm -hmm. So as you're now taking your roller and addressing uh, your, your wall, uh, the paint will end up dripping down. So but once again, you're not wasting any paint. No, but for the sake of this demonstration, look, look at that. Take a look at the groove. Nothing. Look nothing at that channel in there. In there. There's not a single wow. drop. Paint free. That is wow. amazing. It's the only product on the market that you can pour 
and, and not a single drop will get into that group. 100% guaranteed this, every single time. The best money you'll ever spend on oh, this. Anybody, that, needs, you anybody that has to do any painting, and I don't care if it's today, tomorrow, next year, whatever, needs to get this product. It's amazing. I'm, I, I can't that wait right to get there. it. And I, uh, I have a, a spare bedroom that I have to paint. Mm -hmm. and I'm I'll be you, over at three today. Yeah, I was going to say, come <laughs> on over. This, this is It's such a great idea. It makes painting so much neater. And, and that's really the, one of the biggest problems people have with paint is that they normally don't go through a whole gallon. If they do... They'll go into another half of another gallon on right, the other side right. of it. And then you've got something that you have to store. And then once you store it, if you don't have a perfect seal, um, first of all, the air is going to get in there. It's going to dry it out, and it's going to be a nightmare. But if you do get some paint in the channel and it glues on there, you real, you need like a chisel. Do you want to know something? One of the worst cuts I ever had in my life, which required eight stitches, was taking a screwdriver at a corner of a thing Ooh. and trying to wrench it off. Oh. And it actually went right in between oh. my thumb and forefinger. Ouch. When I, and I was a painter. I was, I was doing that in college. And I actually popped it. I wasn't paying attention. Went right across the can into my hand. Oh. I want to show uh, one more thing. Good. Not good. Tetanus shot the whole bit. <laughs> All because I was trying to pry. And that's a swear sure. to God true story. Sure. I All because it. I was trying to get a can of paint off there. Because we, my brother and I painted every summer yeah. for like three years. Yeah. I wish this was around back then. Well, it's around now. You thought now. of it. You just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now you got I it. I should have initiated 20 years ago. But, but I want to show. <laughs> Less than a minute okay, to go, Okay, let me Johnny, show one right? more thing. Watch. Now, if you have a can that's already been pre-contaminated, you could still use a drip crown because it's still going to make your painting cleaner as you're using the paintbrush wiper. In addition, here, we'll put it on this whole can. You could take your brush, stick it between the paintbrush wiper and the slope. Mm -hmm. Now we have a vertical paintbrush holder. So again, nice. any wow. and all dripping paint will fall directly back into the can. And the drip crown is uh, a miracle and it solves an age old problem that's been plaguing do it yourselfers and professionals yep. for years. Because everyone has Great invention. a paint can. It or paint cans oh my gosh. that look like that. It, it is truly one of those jobs every single family oh, yeah. member has probably had to do some painting in their life, whether you're a grown-up or a kid, sure. doesn't matter. Sure. This is going to make that job so much easier. I have 500 left to go around for everybody in the country. $16.95, you spend 40, 50 bucks on a can of paint. It'll pay for itself probably the first time you paint. No absolutely. doubt about it. Excellent great job. invention. Great, Thank you. great invention. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much, you, my friend. All right, Bob. Uh, excellent. All right, listen, uh, Don and Bob, uh, Bob's sticking around. Um, I want to remind you, if you would like to get this uh, product for $10 less for $6.95, then why don't you get yourself an HSN credit card? Getting a credit card gives you 10 bucks off your first purchase, turning any purchase uh, into a more valuable purchase. Like I said, the uh, the drip crown would now be $6.95. So fantastic. All right, Mr. Sacosta is sticking around. Uh, we've got a wonderful product called the Roller Bumper, which